Russia wanted to land near the south pole of the moon before India. Its revised landing timeline put it two days ahead of Chandrayaan's landing schedule. Unfortunately, its spacecraft, the Luna 25, crashed instead. Some said Russia's success was almost guaranteed, but perhaps the revised timeline jeopardized its mission. However, that is not to say that the Luna 25 was not capable of landing before India's Chandrayaan. But the hurry Russia showed perhaps did have something to do with wanting to be the first. Some say India's success might trigger a race to the moon once again and could lead to wastage of a lot of crucial resources which could have been used elsewhere. Japan, which sent a mission to the moon in April this year, has seen failure on that front. But it is determined to try again. In April this year, a Japanese startup, iSpace, wanted to become the first company to land on the moon. But it failed. And this time, Japan doesn't want to take any chances. So it has decided to collaborate with India. India's ISRO and Japan's space agency JAXA will work together to explore water resources in the polar regions of the moon. The mission objectives will also include a demonstration of lunar and planetary surface exploration technologies such as vehicular transport and overnight survival. Along with that, obtaining knowledge on the availability of lunar water ice resources. The mission might be ready for launch by 2026. But before that, the US also wants to send astronauts to Moon's orbit and back. Artemis II, which is an eight-day mission, will send three NASA astronauts and one Canadian Space Agency astronaut around the moon on a free return trajectory. India's Chandrayaan mission should be seen as an inspiration that has pushed other nations to explore space and not as an event that triggered a wasteful race. After all, man does want to explore space further and establish colonies in outer space. How can I achieve my targets? How can I target the remotest markets? You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead, think growth.